And now it's time to talk about the jump animations we'll need. Now the jump is super fun. You press a button and boom, your character launches into the air. So there's an important thing to keep in mind. The actual height and forward trajectory of your jump is going to be driven through the character movement component. But we will need three animations to play while the code actually determines the height and the length your character will go forward. So first you will need a jump anticipation. Then you will need a falling loop, which we'll use when the character is falling down from the jump or if they just fall off a ledge. So it will serve both purposes. And then we will also need a landing animation, which will be additive based upon our base locomotion. So it'll be added on top of our running and sprinting animation. So I'll show you how to do all that in the tech anim side of it. Now there are two approaches you can take with it. You can either do one type of jump. This is the Elden Ring style. So you press a button once and basically no matter if you're idling and you jump, you're running and you're, or you're sprinting and you jump, it's basically the same jump. Or if you want to flesh out your character's movement a little bit more, you can try the Breath of the Wild style approach, which is where if your character is idling, they'll play one jump. But if they're moving forward and running around, they'll have another jump. Like you, So you can see here how Link has this jump when he's moving forward, which is different from when he's standing in place. Now, you'll notice with Link here, he does have this alternating jump. Uh, just don't do that. I'm only going to show you how to do a one type of jump for running and then one type of jump for idling. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And the implementation is going to be basically the same for them. So regardless of whether you do the Elden Ring or Breath of the Wild style approach, I'll walk you through both of them. And now let me hop into Sequencer to show you some practical tips for actually animating them so that they play well in game. I have my jump idle here for you guys and I'll press play. As you can see, I tried to follow my reference here. And what I found works best is to animate your character just going up don't do anything where you make him jump forward because that's going to be driven through code the actual height of it will be driven through code as well but if you make your jump animation feel natural and fluid to whatever style you're doing it'll blend a lot better with the actual height that's driven through the code and you can tweak it to match your animation as well so for this particular one what i did was i animated the jump anticipation in about 12 frames. And then I just did one static pose for the fall loop. I'll flesh this out later, but for testing purposes, I thought, and eh, let me just do one pose. So feel free to do that. And then I land in about 15 frames. So if I press play, you'll see this is what I have here. I'll show you how to code it in the next lesson. But besides this one, I thought it'd be fun to do a different type of jump when he's running around. So I do this twirling pirouette i believe it's called jump which took me a bit of trial and error to get relatively working again it needs another pass to make it feel a little better but what i did for this one was again i did my jump anticipation in about 12 frames or so and then i did my fall loop so point A is the first pose, point B is the second. They should be matching. I'm realizing now I have a slight discrepancy, but I'll fix that later. And then I have my landing in about five frames. Because he's moving quickly when he's in the locomotion, I thought that it would be better to prioritize the landing to be faster. I It's interesting because my reference, he lands backwards and then goes forward so I originally did try to do it where the landing animation ended here but this was too long this is about let's see that's a like 20 frames that's more than half a second by that time my character had already resumed and gone into the run cycle so you kind of need your landing animation to be relatively quickly I'd say probably under 15 frames or so mine is a different situation here but I'd recommend trying to get your character to land in something that blends better with your run and sprint animation so this is something I'll have to troubleshoot myself to make it flow just a little bit better but for now, this will work okay. So yeah, I hope you have fun with your jumps. Excited to see what you all do.